for us to have a peaceful country together must Thank you very much. That is the, the mood and that is the what are we are going to do. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, Kimani Ichungwa. Honorable Speaker, thank you for this opportunity. Honorable Ekomas Mutuse, the member for Kibwezi West, approached me with the impeachment motion. Honorable Speaker, I took some time not just to go through the grounds that he had uh, stipulated for the impeachment of the Deputy President, but also to reflect on what Honorable Mutuse was asking me not just as a member of parliament for Kikuyu and leader of majority party in this house to do, but also took time to reflect and ask the almighty God to guide me and give me wisdom to do the right thing. Honorable Speaker, I pray to God that the almighty God may give me wisdom to do that which is right. And not just what is right, Honorable Speaker, but also what is just. Just to the outgoing Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, but also just, more importantly, just to the people of Kenya who turned out in their numbers in 2022 to vote in a government that they believed would create cohesion and unity and offer them opportunities to excel and prosper as a people. Honorable Speaker, as I prayed for wisdom, I was also conscious that what is right is not always easy. And what is right is not always popular. And being a son of the mountain, representing people of the Mount Kenya region, Honorable Speaker, it was clear to me that what may be popular today may not be right. And that is why I ask God to give me the wisdom to do that what is right, Honorable Speaker. And I am here today to do what is right for the people of Kenya. I am here to do what is right, not just for the people of Mount Kenya. I am here to do what is right for the greater good of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Speaker. And that is why I rise to support this impeachment motion, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, having listened to Honorable Mutuse and all the grounds, and having looked at the Constitution, Honorable Speaker, and I would beg for us to look at Article 150 on the removal of a Deputy President, the reasons as to why you may remove a Deputy President from office. The first one is on the ground of physical or mental incapacity to perform the functions of that office we have no capacity to determine the physical and mental capacity of the Deputy President Rigathi Gashagua. But on impeachment as a second ground, the first ground is on the ground of gro a gross violation of a provision of this constitution or any other law. The question that begs is whether one Rigathi Joffrey Gashagua has contravened or has grossly violated one provision of the, our constitution. And I think the Honorable Ekomas Mutuse was able to demonstrate this morning that Rigathi Gashagua has violated not one, but over eight provisions of our constitution, which I agree with the Honorable Mutuse. And for that reason, Rigathi Gashagua ought and must be impeached today. The second ground, Honorable Speaker, is where there are serious reasons. And Senior Counsel Otiende Amolo went to great length this morning to explain what serious, when you believe there are serious reasons that the Deputy President has committed a crime under national or international law. 
Honorable Speaker, behind the veneer of humility that you have seen here this evening, behind the veneer of humility that Kenyans saw on national TVs on Sunday, pretending to apologize, is a dark face of violence. Is a dark face, Honorable Speaker, that is a great danger to our nationhood. A great danger to the unity of our republic, Honorable Speaker. A danger to the cohesive existence of our nation as we, so it, we, we see it today, Honorable, Honorable Speaker. On the first ground, Honorable Speaker, on the remark of Serikali Nikampuni, it pains me, Honorable Speaker, as I say, not just as leader of majority, but as a member of parliament of Kikuyu constituency, and also as a son of the mountain, where I come from. That Honorable Speaker, today, the community I come from is being depicted as a community that is entitled and privileged. We are a community, Honorable Speaker, that has love for other Kenyans and other communities in our republic. We are a community that is known for our hard work and resilience, not for entitlement. We are a community that is peace-loving and that believes in the unity of one indivisible nation and republic of Kenya. Rigathi Gashagua does not believe in an indivisible country. He believes in parochial, selfish, regional and sectarian interests. And for that reason, Honorable Speaker, we ought and we should impeach the Honorable Rigathi Gashagua. Honorable Speaker, we need to ask ourselves as Honorable Members of Parliament, who took an oath of office, Honorable Speaker, and we swore in the name of the Almighty God that we would obey, respect, uphold, protect, and defend this constitution. And today, Honorable Speaker, what we are being asked to do is to recall those words of the oath of office that we all took, either with the Bible or the, with the Holy Quran, in our right hands, Honorable Speaker, that for a man who has grossly violated our constitution, whether we will stand up today to be counted as protecting and defending this constitution by sending home one Rigathi Gashagu, Honorable Speaker. I want to say I rise to the occasion today to do what is right and to reaffirm that oath that I took with the Bible in my right hand to obey, to defend, and to protect this constitution that we all sought to defend. And I call upon all of you, honorable members, to defend this constitution. Honorable members, for Kenyans around the country who watched in disbelief as the Honorable Rigathi Gashagua went to great length and the Honorable Otiende Amolo told us this morning, if you have to spend two hours, two hours on national TV to defend corruption and tell the world how you are not corrupt, you are definitely corrupt. Honorable 